So what I'm going to do here is a four light setup. I have uh, the beauty dish set here with my Bowens lighting on all of this uh, setup on all four lights. On the front light we hear, we have here, I have um, the power set down at the lowest setting at one. The light is going to be transferring through this beauty dish with the grid to give me a hot spot halo right on her face and chest area. And you can kind of see it here on the, on the uh, background. So if she's standing here, it's aimed about here. She's a good bit taller than me, so we're going to position that on her face first. And split lighting here on the side to illuminate the sides of her body. The idea is we see, wow, look at her body, wow, look at her legs, but not, wow, look at that light. So I've got it starting at that position. Since we don't know how light or dark her skin is that's going to show through on the dress, I want to do a test shot while she's here and make that decision. There's a hair light behind her set on its own separate power pack. And I have the power set double what the front light is. It may or may not be enough. There's a grid spot placed in the reflector to help us narrow down the scope of where that light is spreading to. It's hard light coming straight out of the uh, flash tube into the reflector and through that grid. So you're basically going to see a spotlight on the back of her head with very soft edges. It'll make everything kind of push forward on the back of her head. If she turns sideways, it's going to touch her face. You're going to see a little bit of it. So you want to make sure while you're shooting that you're acutely aware that she moves and stays in her spotlight. I would use, in previous times, shooting for Playboy, we'd use focusable spotlights, and my assistant would actually follow the subject with the spotlight. When I'm shooting by myself, I just have to slow down a little bit and use the grids and just make sure that they're in there. Keep looking. Keep looking at your images. Shoot three or four shots. Always stop. Look at your pictures. Keep going. That way you don't end up with 30 pictures and the model's in the shade. So one shot, check. Two shots, check. See what your poses can be like, how far your limitations are, and then move forward. We have a fan from Bowen sitting down here on the front because with the drama, I thought it would be really cool if we had her hair like flying in the air. So over here in the corner, we have two places that she could easily work on to get really graphic poses. Graphic clothes, graphic light, hair and makeup requires what? Graphic poses. So we talked about earlier about poses you shouldn't do or camera angles you shouldn't do. Legs can be apart only when standing. If somebody's lying flat down on the floor, their legs could be apart, but I don't know if that would be the best. A strong pose can be with the feet apart or shifting like this, never seated. You can sit with the knees together, feet apart. Um, I'll work you through some of that so you can see that in action and how you might pose a body. The dress is just going to be really severe and fun. So what I'm going for here, we can probably find our way through about F8. Um, for a, a f-stop that we'd like to work with. That way we see all the detail in the hair. Um, normally, I would possibly gel the background just a little bit, uh, but I'm going to keep it clean and white today so you can just really see that. And if you want to tone it blue, like kind of like I've done with the image in the back there, you can make that choice. Um, or warm it up a little bit.